Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, frogs and rats, and of course, everything in between. My name is Genesat, and today we're going to be trying the brand new Chris Chan Cake Bites. First and foremost, we've got to do a quick box review of the packaging here. Um, it's shit. It's got Spider-Man on it. I don't know why Spider-Man is on this. Uh, as far as my knowledge goes, Chris Chan did not make Spider-Man. Um... I mean, it's possible that he did. I think... I think... I'll have to check the quickie again. Um, but I don't think he made Spider-Man. As a matter of fact, I think that might be one of the characters that he stole and claimed to make. Now, right here you'll see on the opening mechanism, you have the uh, very uh, unique zipping technique that the uh, creators of this box have decided to take. Uh, the zipping technique is not a personal favorite of mine. As a matter of fact, I think it's quite shit. Um... Coupled with the fact that uh, we have a non-Chris Chan property on this, I think this packaging is uh, fucking disgusting. I think I'll give it a 1 out of 10. Let's see how the zip... Yep, yep, that, see? That's what always happens with the zip. That's what always happens. It starts off fine and then just fucks up towards the end. Disgusting. Awful. Inexcusable. Let's open this shit up. Okay, in we go. Ah, and they're individually wrapped, too. And, uh, well, here we went into the same problem of having a non-Christian Weston Chandler uh, copyrighted property. I don't know who the fuck these assholes think they are, but for some reason, this was honestly very poorly researched, if I'm being quite honest. The people who made this did not do enough research into Christian Weston Chandler his owned IPs, his unowned IPs, and his stolen IPs. Spider-Man is very much a stolen IP. Chris Chan will claim to have made Spider-Man, uh, but unfortunately the fact is that that just isn't the case. Very poorly researched packaging. I do not care for it all that much. However, I will say that the advertising of the original shirt is actually quite unique. I'm not sure... If this is false advertising, however. So we'll have to find out one way or another. And now we move on to the food itself. Yes, we have it on its own separate plastic tray. You'll see the red, white, and blue to uh, symbolize Chris Chan's patriotism, as he has shown in his 9-11 video. Ooh, and that's not good, fellas. You see, uh, it's primarily actually red and blue. The white in the in-between colors actually isn't very prominent. That's not a very good thing. The white is meant to be a very key factor in distinguishing, again, Chris Chan's patriotism, his love for America. If there is no white, there is no love for America. I believe that the message that these people are trying to send is that Chris Chan supports Al-Qaeda, which um, is rather sad. Now let's go in for the taste test. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Let's get another bite in. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Tastes kind of like, uh, piss. Mm. 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 I detect a slight bit of a orange Fanta on this one. Mm. No. Hmm. Hmm. 
the Chris Chan Cake Bites. Mm. So far, these things aren't that great. <clears throat> On the rating scale, I'd probably give them... Um, let's see, I think I'd probably give them a cheeseburger out of filet mignon. Definitely not very high on the rating scale, but um, I give them points for originality, I guess. Hmm. So let's see here. Hmm. I see. Okay. One more bite, and then we deliver our final verdict. Okay. On my verdict of gas or ass, uh, 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 this is quite ass indeed. The packaging, it's a zero out of ten. The individual packaging also a zero out of ten. The opening mechanism is shit. The tray looks like ass. The pastry looks like ass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, this sucks. Zero out of ten. <laughs>